Lord God, I want to thank you in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I give you praise even as you help us to start another meeting, another session, giving praise and glory to your name. We thank you for being help to us. We assure you, Lord, we will always give you praise for all you do for us and for who you are, we will worship in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask that you will speak to us in a language we will all understand so that the planter and the harvester will rejoice together in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please, um, let's quickly look into scripture. You're welcome, everyone. This part three of listening, uh, listening Prayer Reloaded is going to be the final part for this teaching series and the time to, to move on into another one. And they will have a bit of what I will call a family meeting because that's what we are. And uh, God himself will continually pull things together for us and uh, make us lead even in the way he wants us to lead. Amen. So, uh, the let, let's start with uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verses 2 and 3. And then we'll go to Mark 4. And then we'll try to wrap it all up. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory to God. So, Ecclesiastes... Chapter 5, from verse 2 and 3. Let's do that real quick. Glory to God. Do not be quick with your mouth. Yep. Do not be hasty in your heart mm. to utter anything before God. Yeah. God is in heaven and you are on earth. Mm. So let your words be few. Yeah. So when he says, let your words be few, he didn't say you shouldn't talk at all. But mm. he wants you to talk less. That's why he gave you one mouth and two ears. Hear twice as much as you speak. So having said that, God expects us to experience more hearing because it's so important that we hear him is so important that we hear him than anything else because that is where you gain strategy. And uh, when he said, let your words be few, meaning listen for what he has to say. I'll go back to the basic where we started. Uh, Matthew 6, 32. Can somebody else read that for us again? Uh, if you're not reading just stay muted until when it's time to call, when we start to pray. I just want to wrap this up because it has to be life applicable. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew. Praise Ma Matthew. God. Yeah, Matthew 6, verse 32. 32. Yeah. For the pagans run after all these things, and mm. your heavenly Father knows that you need them. Mm -hmm. Your heavenly father knows that you need them. Yeah. The things that people are, the pagans are running after. Your father has it in mind. He's aware that you need this stuff. You know, I call them stuff. Hmm? And he tells you, uh, you need to lay up for yourself. And then he tells you not to lay up for yourself. He's not sounding discordant tune. He's only showing you where not to and where to lay up treasures for yourself. Okay. Uh, let's look at another portion here in verse 6 of the same scripture. You can read it for us now. Verse 6. Yep. Uh, but when you pray, mm. go into your room, close the door, and pray to your father mm. who is unseen. Then your father who is who sees what is done in secret will yeah. reward you. 
Your yeah. father, one of the attributes of your father mm. is that he sees what is done in secret. Mm. Yeah. Okay? And that he knows how to reward. And Hebrews chapter 11, verse uh, 6, tells us he there is a place for faith for the reward to come through. A positive, mm -hmm. continuous expectation of good in the face of opposing circumstances. Okay? So, your father, you can look at it. Uh, it says, and without faith, it is impossible to please God mm -hmm. because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists okay. and that he rewards those. That's who one part of it. You must be persuaded that God really exists. It's not a figment of somebody's imagination. Yeah. And that he is a rewarder of those who passionately go after him. Yeah. If you're going after somebody, you must be willing to hear what the person has to say, right? Yeah. It just makes sense. <laughs> faith, I mean, uh, faith does not make sense or follow logic. It only makes miracles. And those who will not live by miracles, they will live by struggling. May you not live by struggling in Jesus' name. So uh, if you look at verse 11 of the same place, the same Hebrews 11, Go to verse 11 and 12 and read for us and see some. I'm trying to string <laughs> some scriptures together so that we will see why God is insisting that when we come, we should come and listen. Yeah. We gain strategy, we gain insight, we gain wisdom, and then we begin to respond to what we have heard. And by faith, Sarah who was past childbearing age, mm -hmm. was enabled to bear children because she considered him faithful, who had made the promise. Okay. And so, was that 12? Yeah. Uh -huh. And so from this one man. From this he, one man. Yeah. And he, as good as dead, became descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. Mm -hmm. And as countless as the sand by the seashore. The seashore. Okay. Seashore. How did that happen? Look, a, take a closer look at that verse 11. She mm -hmm. considered God faithful because she's been listening to God long enough. Say, ah, the person who said all of these things must be reliable, must be trustworthy. So that consideration made her to expect results even when it was past human efforts when it was she was in fact if there's anything post-menopausal the husband was andropausal post-andropausal he was already a centenarian as it were <laughs> so out of them the impossible became possible but how did they get that level of confidence that level of guts and uh, uh, boldness it was because they've been listening to somebody they've been listening to what God has to say okay you cannot be fully persuaded until the word of God becomes so real to you that you are willing to take a risk for it then you are not ready to make faith work faith only comes by hearing, it doesn't come by praying. It's after faith has produced its result that you can begin to make decrees and declarations based on your persuasion. Okay? And that is when the result that will blow your mind begins to manifest. I always remember the first time I ever prayed for a lame person, I still saw the, one of such pictures it, it, it happened in, in Uganda. I can't forget. No, that was the second time I would pray for a, a lame person and the lame started walking instantly. When I got back to my hotel room, my eyes were wide open. I couldn't sleep. But I have been spending extra time in place of prayer and I've been listening to what God has to say. So when it came that they now challenged my faith in the public, what I've been feeding on in the private 
suddenly became useful. The one in Uganda, apart from many others, there was this one that happened in a pastor's house. We just had lunch. We just had lunch. And then they, they, my host pastor received some guests. And these guests, as they came in, one of the ladies that came, came with her husband. They've been waiting to have pregnancy for some about four or five years of marriage, no child. And uh, when they heard what was happening in the church earlier in the teaching series I was teaching and uh, demonstrating the power of God, they came to visit the pastor because they know him one-on-one. -on -one. And he, so while they were there, we just finished lunch and we started talking and the Holy Spirit drew my attention to this woman. She must be in her early thirties. And I didn't know they don't have children, but the Holy Spirit said, ask her a question. Do you still need, do you still need children? And then she said, yes. And I told her, you seem to know why you're not having children. And the husband looked at me. And the woman looked at me. I said, you, you know why? You need to stop this association. Let me have the ring in your hand. It was not a wedding band. It was something else, another ring. It was on her right hand. And I immediately I took the ring off we were many there. We just ate lunch at the dining and we just stepped out. We were in the living room there and I took it off. Immediately I took it off, she started screaming and slamming herself on the floor. They were all shocked. What happened? What has just happened here? A deliverance session took effect. And shortly after that, I think I spent about, I spent some weeks in that country then I went back. And then I got an email that shortly after that, the husband who has been applying for a job, an international job around Zimbabwe, got the job. On arrival, the wife took in and they had a baby girl. But she was in part of something that was, that her loyalty was split between the kingdom of Jesus and some things that they told her to trust in before. And I told her, that is your real problem. If you stop that and remove their mark from you, then your story will be different. Long story short, she's a mother of several. They wanted me to come to Zimbabwe after that experience. But my host was surprised. Say, look, these guys have been coming to my house every time. I don't know what to do. I didn't know what you saw that <laughs> you unplugged and result came. So, and another one that happened, that my bishop friend, it's in Uganda, it's still there. The lady was brought to church paralyzed from the shoulder down. She couldn't use her hand or legs. And guess what? The result was dramatic. I wish I could just uh, share my screen and show you that one. <laughs> On a Sunday morning, in, while I was still testifying of God's goodness, they just came and brought the lady, four men brought her to the altar and left her on the altar platform and they receded back into the crowd. So my host was very uncomfortable, saying, ah, you come to test the man of God that came as my guest and all of that. I didn't bother. I finished teaching and preaching and I asked, Holy Spirit, how do you want to deal with this one? It's in front of us now. I didn't say it's in front of me. We are all before the Lord. It's in front of us now. What do we do? And he said, ah, don't ask me. Just tell her to get up and take a walk with you. Obviously, she couldn't even move her hands, talk less of her legs. Quadruplegic. Ah. So I walk up to her after preaching. I didn't pray. I walked up to her, extended my hand to her, and I told her, walk with me. And then I held her hand, and suddenly her hand gripped mine, and then she pulled herself and got up and started walking. The whole church went into holy pandemonium, and they normally have two services there. And that point, immediately that happened, 
those who came in for the meeting, the service that is just finishing, the second, uh, this thing, the second service is just about to get started. Immediately we finish praying and people ought to go out. All those who ought to go out from the first service, they sat down. They were ready for the, se the second service. So those who came for second service have no place to sit. They were all standing around and watching the, mat the, the Holy Ghost drama that has just played out before them. And then while the excitement and the news filtered out that significant miracles are happening here, what happened next? Another set went and brought a mad lady in black jeans and blue t-shirt. I remember vividly like yesterday. What I'm telling you now is over 10 years ago. And immediately they brought her to the center, the open space. They just unleashed the lady who has lost it up here. They literally unleashed her on me. And immediately she set eyes on me. She was coming for me straight. I started praying in tongues. She fell to the ground and I commanded the spirit of insanity to leave her. Boom. And she went quiet. When she regained herself, she sat up and looked around and looked at herself and started to shed tears. Something cleared of her mind. Her mind was restored. Psalm 23. And what happened next? Ugandans can dance. They started dancing and singing. And these things began to happen because I heard what he said. He said to me, tell her to take a walk with you. That one word changed the world of the lady. The second one that came as somebody who, who had psychosis and they restrained her up till the church and released her when they got to the front. That happened. Two such significant miracles on a Sunday morning in a church and preaching in for the first time. It all happened because I heard. The scripture we read in Hebrews 11, 11, you consider God because you've been listening to him. If you don't listen to him, you will not consider his claim. So listening to God is so important. Ask him, what will you have me do? That was the difference between Paul the apostle and the rest of the apostles. He wrote three quarters of the New Testament because he was always listening and hearing and responding to what he has been instructed. That is what God wants you. Our Christian life should be like that. I have seen a lot of miracles in my lifetime so far. And I know that the best is just waiting to begin to unfold. I know that. And he wants the same experience to come to you. And that's why, you see, it may be, it may look like I'm calm and just telling and recounting the story, but it's coming out of my spirit because I have received, I have listened in. He has taught me and I'm able to teach. Chapter 10, verse 7 of the book of uh, Ezra. Can somebody read that for us quickly? I will soon stop teaching and I will start to pray. Listening prayer listening don't tell don't dominate the, the, the discussion let him lead and he will lead by telling you hallelujah Ezra it's, 10 yeah verse 7 10, 7 yeah a pro proclamation a pro a pro well, really? a proclamation yeah. was then issued throughout Judah Judea yeah. What, what what are you reading? Is it Ezra? Ezra. Yeah, Chapter 10. Is it? Yeah. Verse 7. Did I get it right? Okay, no. I yeah, think that's Chapter it. 7, verse 10. Oh. Mm, oh. I think so. Chapter yeah. 7. Verse 7, verse 10. 10. Yeah. Oh. For Ezra had devoted himself to study and observe, 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 observance of the law mm -hmm. of the Lord mm -hmm. and to teaching its decrees and laws in Israel. Yeah. Look at the precept, the, the, the way it worked. I'm trying to show you patterns. Yes, he had devoted himself. He devoted study. himself to study. study what is yeah. this study? He was studying the Torah. And the whole idea is 
to listen to what God was saying. You know, when you read, you are listening, even though you are not vocal, but you are receiving information that can become, if you pay attention to read by meditation, the information converts to revelation and the revelation will bring revolution, transformation. Can I read it in, in King James Version? It explains it better because it's talking about the heart. Okay. Uh, the King James Version of Ezra 7 10 says that for Israel had prepared his heart mm -hmm. to seek the law of the Lord mm -hmm. and to do it mm -hmm. and to teach in Israel's statutes and, and judgments. judgments. Listen, yes. because he, he, the preparation of the heart. You see, the heart of the problem is a problem of the heart. When you begin to listen to what God's heart to say, God's opinion, God's take on an issue gives you access to deploy God's power in that situation. All the requests, all your chopping leads is aware before it became obvious to you that these are becoming obvious needs to you. He saw it coming. If you remember that verse 6, of uh, Mark 4 and verse uh, 24 that we read before. You will see that, and even the Matthew chapter 6, no, sorry, Matthew 6, verses 6, and then verse 32. You will see your heavenly father knows what you want to ask before you even ask it. But there is another line to read in Isaiah 65, verse 24, which says, and it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. He preempts your needs and makes provision. But your problem and my problem is we don't know where the provisions have been made until we receive instruction. Okay? And the instruction is normally by the still small voice of the Holy Spirit, which normally comes while we pray. While we pray, we are talking. While we keep quiet, he is talking back and telling us where and how a problem, a challenge should be resolved. And if you pay attention to that and follow his lead, he will lead you into the places that you never thought possible. Fear flies away the, out the window. Immediately you begin to listen to what God has to say. That was the help that God gave to Sarah in that verse 11 of Hebrews, when it said she considered God faithful. She didn't consider her situation. She considered God. She was listening to God more than listening to the voice of her body, which is saying, you are old, you, are beyond, you cannot have babies again. If you couldn't have babies before 50, before 40, your chances are zero. But she considered the claims of God faithful and she got the result. And may your life begin to get results going forward. So when you pray, you see those three principles, when you pray, when you fast, and when you give, those are eternal principles. God is always expecting you to practice those three. And as you practice them, your profiting will become evident. And as your profiting becomes evident, the results you have will not be the type that anybody can argue about. Hallelujah. Nobody can argue about it. Nobody. So, uh, I will wrap up at this point, and then we will get into prayer. But this is one fact I need us to know. That when... Just like the scripture we read earlier in uh, Ecclesiastes 5, when you come before God, be more willing to listen. Okay? Hallelujah. He said, be more willing to listen so that you don't offer the sacrifice of fools. Hallelujah. So God is going to help even as more people are listening to what God has to say and getting results. Because in these days and time, God is going to keep speaking to us more directly, not in parables, direct. 
dreams will be more rampant among the elderly. Visions, open visions will be more rampant even among the young ones. But it takes listening to God and understanding the way he speaks to you for you to break into that cycle. And your life can never be seen again, even as you pay attention. Hallelujah. I encourage you, even as we begin now, because I believe we're about to just hit the jet stream of the flow by the Holy Spirit and begin to see the things that he will do amongst us, you know? And uh, as we experience that, let it challenge you to know that there is more where this is flowing from. There is more. There is more. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Lord God, I want to thank you because everyone under the sound of my voice will receive the breathing upon, even by the Spirit of God, so that everyone who hears will uh, experience all that you intended for them and they will get the result that you have already preordained in the name of Jesus. Let it be said that everyone got a blessing, that everyone got a blessing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I think it's about time we begin to pray. Never forget, God is in heaven, you are on earth. When you hear what he has to say, he will demystify the, 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 the question that has been inhibiting you and limiting you from acting. God wants to challenge you and say, go forward like he said to Moses. But he will do that by speaking. God does not do most things until he has spoken. Because words are vehicles of supernatural power. And so, Lord God, I want to decree right now that everyone under the sound of my voice will experience the hearing that God, not just hearing by the outer ear, but the hearing that bears witness with your spirit. And as you hear that, may your outer ear become excited knowing that something is about to happen. Lord, we want to give you praise. We want to give you praise in the name of Jesus that you will equip these men and women because they took time out to come before you. You say they that come to you, you will not cast them off and more so that as they come to you, you will instruct them, you will feed them with the word of life. Let your word come alive even to them right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. There is this person, your name keeps coming back to me again and again. Where are you? Your name is Tonye. Can you please unmute yourself? Tonye, I don't know what part of the world you are at, but I need you to uh, I need you to unmute and let's talk. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Tonye, if you can hear me, just show a sign that you can hear me so I can start speaking. Hallelujah. Like the guy has actually logged himself out. Glory to God. Well, when you come back, we'll take it up. But no worries. Let's 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 talk on Malola, please. Hallelujah. Now, for those coming for the first time, you may never have seen the prophetic and the apostolic at this dimension in which God addresses us as individuals, because we are not just data. We are humans. We are humans. And God talks to us as the children that he loves. So let's respond to him. He is a rewarder of those who come to him. Hallelujah. So Omolola, you can just unmute yourself. I don't want to do that. Oh, that okay. I didn't know. 
Is it just me? Yes, sir. Is it me? Yes, I know. Thank you, Father. Lord God, we want to thank you for this, my precious sister. Thank you very much, Lord God, even for uh, the faith that you... The Lord said, I've been fanning your faith into embers of fire. I've been fanning it up into embers of fire. Because what men thought is far gone, the Lord is saying, it's just about time for it to be right for me to respond. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Lord says, I'm about to do things mm -hmm. that will buy back time for you. Um, like somebody who who has been to school, studied and do, done this and done that, uh, been here and done that, but the Lord kind of began to show me that he's realigning and reassigning your job description, not just at home, okay. but even in the issues of career, because I see you mm -hmm. like going to a library, like picking up interest in new things and beginning to read up for them. I don't know how long you've been in the career path you are at now, but a new layer is about to be added. And that those who will help in the new layer are going to be brought close. Amen. Amen. It will not be you going all out to search for them. The Lord will bring them close so that they will be willing vessels in God's hand to help you begin to connect even into the things that will serve you even in the latter years of life. Amen. And God wants to add that layer to it. It's like you're beginning to become overqualified for what you're doing. And God wants to say, okay, if you must do this next one, I need to add a new level of skill sets to it so you can be effective mm -hmm. in the one that you are going to literally migrate into. And so I decree okay. that the favor of God and the mercy of God will rest upon you and bring those forth in the name Amen. of Jesus. Donald has been like, like a, an oasis in the desert where a lot of hurting people come, spend a little time, get encouragement, and then they can go and do life again more confidently. And the Lord Amen. says that the time of reward is here. And so, Amen. Father, I decree that the reward for the time of either because of the multitude of people you have had to so-call some of them you take them in and uh, allow them to heal emotionally before you let them go back to their world again the lord said all of those things have been recorded and the reward for that is beginning to warm up to show up for you and so i cause mm -hmm. a release to happen to you in jesus name amen, amen. amen. thank you sir thank amen. you sir have you worked as a Sunday school teacher before? Oh, just briefly. Children. Okay. Children's ministry. Okay. Just briefly. Okay. Because uh, a part of the reward for that will also come. Some of the people who that looked like incorrigible there turned around and you've noticed some of them. But when next you see them, you'll be proud of how they turned out. Because... Okay. Mercy spoke over them because mm -hmm. you gave them reasons to believe in themselves again. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Lord is still going to use you more in that area of uh, uh, giving hope to the desperately mm -hmm. hopeless. Okay. Thank you. Amen. I receive that. Thank you. And Thank in the you, name sir. Of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, let's press on. We'll have a whole lot of work to do here in the name of Jesus. The Lord says, I'm bringing laughter to your house again. Abayomi. Laughter. Abayomi. Unmute yourself, please. Abayomi. Good evening, sir. Yeah. The Lord is, uh, is showing me Amen. laughter. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord, I just decree this concerning your daughter right now. I, I you, see Lord. people kind of come together with gifts in hand, coming to rejoice Amen. with you. Lord God, you, Lord God, because you are a you are a good God. One of your attributes yes, Lord. is goodness. Lord, let your goodness yes. is tent with my sister. Amen. Thank you. Amen. See your tent Amen. and showing up as Jehovah the good. That's what the way Amen. for you. 
as Jehovah did. Amen. Lord God, show up Amen. your goodness, even for this Amen. woman, in the name of Amen. Jesus. Thank you. Amen. The Lord Thank said, you, don't Lord. be trouble-minded. Rest yourself mm. and keep moving forward. Amen. Say, rest yourself, be assured it is doable. Amen. Don't Amen. be double-minded. Don't second-guess yourself. Be Amen. assured and press into it, for I will help Amen. in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Father, Jesus. Father, thank you for giving both you, to this, your daughter. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory, Amen. glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank There's you, sir. Here, Falaket, where are you? Uh, I mean, oh, is it Falaket? What's the name again? Uh, uh, there, is oh, there is this name here. Yeah, I scroll past it. Okay. It's Falashade. I call it Falaket, kind of. Falashade. Can you just. Uh... Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Yeah. Uh, the Lord says, you need to be quiet and let me lead you by the hand. Mm -hmm. Let it be that your, in your quietness, you will gain strategy. Amen. Mm -hmm. You will gain strategy. Mm -hmm. I hear something like, leaky roofs will be sealed off. The mm -hmm. thing that I'm creating what looks like, what demoralizes or discourages from taking action. The Lord says, I will seal them off. No more leaky roofs. The leaky roof is mm -hmm. not a, a prophetic sign that there are some information that keep dropping to you that they are not doing you any good. You need to be deliberate to shut them out. Amen. When you shut them out, clarity mm -hmm. will come. And Lord, I decree everything that has mm -hmm. created foggy vision. Lord, I command them to be blocked off because when the roof is leaking, the house is really not their best. Everything is wet and messy. But Lord, I thank you, Lord, because you are releasing grace for clarity over Felicia Day right now in the name of mm -hmm. Jesus. Our confidence mm -hmm. lift up in the name of Jesus. Uh let that be clear Amen. in the name of Jesus let Amen. that you will be assured that that which you have promised is coming through in Jesus Amen Amen, Amen. 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 Hallelujah Amen. Amen Thank you sir Amen. Wow. Amen Everything that has been leaky draining <laughs> causing situations we command that they be blocked off now Amen. Amen, Lord. Amen. 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 Uh, this person that the Thank Lord you, put in my heart to uh where is I think she wrote guest on the name. Yeah, okay, yeah. One of them. Yeah, this is it. The this one. Okay, it's multiple. Yeah, please. Can you unmute for me? Thank you, Father. Thank you. Hallelujah. You need to unmute yourself if you can, ma. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Glory to God. Lord God, I want to thank you for this, your daughter, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, because... The much-awaited confirmation has been dispatched. I repeat, the much-awaited confirmation has been dispatched and it will come through. Uh, there are going to be what looks to me like a courier service agent that will bring a particular set of documents, not just soft copy, hard copy to you, and that will flag off a season. And so, Father God, even as they demand that she sign up and all of this will farm up, Lord, we ask, oh God, that you will create the occasion for the celebration. Create it yourself in the name of Jesus. That 
parcel looks to me like a brown envelope, padded brown envelope. Lord God, thank you because you caused it to arrive and it will uh, signal the beginning of a new era. Lord, I decree and declare, let the new era begin. Let the new era begin. It's a new dawn. Let it begin. We decree and declare that every detractor has been defeated and they are behind. Lord God, thank you because the worst is behind now. Thank you for a season of full, full recovery. Thank you in the name of Jesus. And he said they will call you and said, okay, we are willing to compromise with you. And we'll do it your way now. We're willing to compromise with you and do it your way. Those words will be spoken to you and you will know God had all that you have placed before him. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Um, where is this person? This Oye Dele Fumi. Can you please put your hand, your right hand on your head like that? Um, yes, sir. Yeah. Lord, I thank you. I thank you that everything that has created delay before now is broken off, is broken Amen. off, delayed. Amen. Let results Amen. become accessible. Receive Amen. grace for access. Receive Amen. grace for access. I decree Amen. it right now. I decree it right now in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive grace for access. Amen. Delay is broken off of you. In Amen. Jesus. Amen. You will testify. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The last word. Thank you, sir. Please just uh, unmute for me. Thank you. Hey, Ramun Shanta, pray Vandelianus. Hey, Randeluche Tambarakatis. Thank you, Father. If you can hear me, please uh, unmute yourself. Yes. Butterpan, please unmute. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Good. Hallelujah. Lord mm. God, I want to thank you even for your daughter. Thank you for the things you have done in times past and even for the ones you will yet do. And the Lord says, you have gone past this particular threshold. You've gone past this particular threshold and that I'm about to, just like he said to Joshua, he says, see, I lay it before you. Walk through it, not south, east, and west. And as you make decisions over it, and whatever you name them, so shall it be called. Mm -hmm. Meaning you need to recreate or co-create with him that which was weak. If you say, okay, now you are named strong, strength will come. Mm. will come that which has been inconsistent if you begin to speak now you are beginning to be consistent stability and consistency will come Amen. god is waiting for you to speak some things and co-create with him lord god i want to thank you let this begin to become the narrative and let the let the strings of results become back to back Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. This is a privileged moment. Lord, I decree your daughter will use it well. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And Lord God, that she will tap into what is waiting to be accessed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Father. Amen. Hallelujah, Father. He said, don't mm -hmm. speak according to what you see. Speak according to what you want it to be like. Amen. Don't forget this. Speak mm -hmm. according to how you want it to be like. And it shall become. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, Lord God, for doing this. Thank you, Lord God, for doing this. Oh, Latisha. Oh, Ramadasha Kabbalah. Thank you, Lord God. Streams in the desert. Streams in the desert. Inessa, can you please unmute for me? Streams in the desert. Streams in the desert. Streams. Yes. Yeah. What the Lord is repeatedly showing me now is a continuous flow of stream in the least likely place. Streams in the desert. Lord God, thank you for causing an outpouring to take place. That, oh, thank you. The Lord is saying that your laborers will be strong and productive. It looks like a team of people working, working on your behalf. They will be strong and productive. This is not a nine to five kind of thing. This is a company of people that will help execute your dream. But they will do it so diligently that it will become, as it were, a continuous flow of a, of a stream. Lord God, thank you for that which seems like it has started small. The Bible says, though your beginning but strong, I mean, but small, your latter and shall greatly increase. I'm decreeing right now, Lord God, that what started as a little stream, let it become a major and significant river that endlessly will flow in the name of Jesus. Make them willing. Make them willing. Make them willing in the name of Jesus. The Lord will have me tell you, be bold and be very courageous, for your help is in my name. Be bold and be very courageous, for your help is in my name. Thank you. Every insecurity is dealt with from the roots, because I'm here to help you, says the Spirit of God. Let his help come through. Let his help come through. Yes, Lord, streams in the desert. Streams in the desert. I don't know why. I think the Lord is clearing some things and creating a new pathway that will not be stopped. And whatever has created inhibitions before, the fear of the unknown, they are giving way for the assured the assured promise that will make you to become confident in the way you respond to God's word to you. Father, thank you. Let the streams begin to flow endless in Jesus' name. This release will produce beginning this week. Will produce beginning this week. Thank you for doing it. In the name of mm -hmm. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. you will need to release into this for you to see. This, this thing is just a two-edged a two -edged sword. It's both creating a pathway that seemed to have been dry and there was a lot of friction and movement being impaired. But now with the flow, it's going to run smooth and effortless. Lord, thank you for pushing the cruise control button. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes, Shade, can you, can you please open up for me on mute? Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Father. It said, like the waves hit the, the shore, I'm going to begin to cause things to flow and dump at your shore. As the waves bring things from the mm -hmm. sea to dump on the shore. Lord God, thank you for causing a new wave to dump all that has been long awaited at her shore. So that the privilege of being able to pick and choose wisely. Lord God, that privilege be extended to her right now. 
-hmm. in the name of Jesus. The waves mm -hmm. are bringing them to the shore. Let God, God, yeah, the shore is not deep so you can walk through and pick up that which has been dumped at the shore. Lord God, thank you for bringing them from afar and from near and for dumping them at the shore so that she can make informed choice. Amen. Informed choice. Informed choice. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Ashiwaju, can you please unmute for me? Thank you, Father. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Good evening. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, be bold for those who are seeking to flip the coin on you have been reassigned. I don't know what that means to you. He said, be bold for those who are waiting to flip the coin and say, okay, head or head or tail or tail to gain an undue advantage. He said they have been reassigned for whatever that means. Lord, I thank you for creating a reassignment for some to make room for your son so that they will no longer contend or compete for that which you have assigned to him Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. I see God give you or make room for you so that the contentions will cease. Thank you Amen. for putting an Amen. end to the contentions so that you Amen. can make room for him. Thank you for doing this right now. Thank, Thank you for you, Lord. This right now. In Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And I, I see Amen. God use your wife to confirm some of these things because even before she hear the information, she will already have a witness which will assure and embolden you. And that will be your confirmation. Father, thank you for doing it. Thank you for thank doing you, it. Thank you, Lord. Yes, in the thank name you, of Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now, Amen. make your choice based on where you want to go. Because I see also that two will show up at the same time. Make your choice based on where you want to go. And it looks like it's the second that will be your best shot. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you, sir. Hallelujah. You. Yeah. We can always talk later. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Where is this person that this could be? Where where is she? If she's still in the meeting, hallelujah. Yeah, there she is. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Said, Fear not, for I heard you from the very first time. Fear <laughs> not, for I heard you from the very first time. You will see how I make the path straight. You will see how I make the path straight. Even the mm -hmm. one that has made you to have a little bit of trepidation, it will not even come near that which you feared because mm -hmm. I'm stepping in to redirect everything. Mm -hmm. I'm stepping in to redirect everything. Lord God, I thank you. Okay. Thank you. Growth is coming. I hear growth coming. There are several things you've done that you didn't get credit for it, but the Lord says, I'm bringing you to a time where you'll be acknowledged. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Acknowledgement, the sacrifices made back then will be acknowledged now, and the Lord will bring times of refreshing. Mm -hmm. That's what I hear. Times of refreshing. Mm -hmm. Times of refreshing. Lord God, I decree that these begin to flow even in the life of my sister. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. 
give you praise. I don't know if your husband is around there. I think you need to have a discussion and you need to be patient to listen. Okay. And then you'll be able to, as a common front, accomplish some very significant thing that has been pending. And okay. this will become a dream come true. <laughs> a dream come true. Yes, Father, thank you for the resolve. Thank you for the resolve. Thank you for peace. Thank you for peace. We give you praise. Lord, your word says that when you give quietness, who then can make trouble? Lord God, whosoever has been uh, speaking when they ought not to be listened to, we thank you because you caused them to stop speaking so that these two can understand what is going on. Give them glimpses, information that has been kept from them before so that they can make informed choice that helps their journey. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for doing it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Yeah, Joan, if you are there, can you please unmute for me? Don't worry, it's going to come to you. Because we're only going to keep praying now till we close. If you can hear me. Thank you. Hello, I'm here, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Uh, I I hear tell her get ready to celebrate. Amen. Celebrate. Yes. Jeremiah thirty. Jeremiah Amen. thirty. Ma. Write it down if you can. Jeremiah yes, 30, sir. verse nineteen. It says, okay, "Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry." I hear Amen. the sound of the abundance of rain. I Amen. hear the sound of the abundance of rain. Amen. Let your courage level be beefed up. Because Amen. God is a great thing. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Father. Say, don't be hard on yourself. Yes, sir. I understand. It's not your yes. fault. Don't be hard on yourself. I understand. Yes, Thank you, Father. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Lord God, thank you for that direction this time. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There is this that Amen. tempted and it looks like you took it very hard because it didn't pan out the way you expected it to be. And you felt you gave it your best shot. But the Lord says grace will do it for you this time. I Amen. Ezekiel 36 verses 36 and 37. Go read it. And find okay, it. Sir. It's an assurance. It's a Amen. word of encouragement and assurance. It is well with you. Amen. Yeah. Um, Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Yeah, let me let me see. Uh Bola, can you please unmute for me if you can? Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. If you can hear me, please just let me know. Because if you are here, calling the person. If you no, I'm talking to someone else. I'm talking to Bola guest. Yes, I can hear you. Good okay, evening. Good. Yeah. And so, Father, thank you. He said, in the still small voice of my spirit, I have spoken. Now I'm speaking again loud and clear. Don't hold back. It's on its way. Keep your expectation up. Don't hold back. It's on its way. Even at the door. Even at the door. For you will hear a yes. Thank you, Father. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And he said, secondly, because you have committed it to my hand, wait for me to walk it out. 
and I'm already at work, mm. you will see the result of what I do, and it will be the best option yet. Mm. Thank you, Father. Lord, I release your blessing. Mm -hmm. Let the assurance come. Mm -hmm. Thank you for doing this. Thank mm -hmm. you for doing this. Lord God, thank you for a baptism of boldness. Mm -hmm. Thank you for a baptism of boldness. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. said, I should say this to you. That after you have given your opinion, they won't contest it. Hmm. After you have given your sincere opinion, they won't contest it. When the details of what the Lord is speaking through me comes through, I want to hear the details. Hmm. They say, after you have given your opinion, they won't contest it. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Is there anybody in the group right now that has been working with orphans and disadvantaged people actively right now. If there is a person like that, please let let you need to be the next person I pray with so that we get that one off the plate. You may not be working as staff, but you may be working as a support team or a team lead, doing something that impacts and affects those who are disadvantaged or people like our orphans and things like that. If you are involved in that way, please, can I have your hand up? Let me pray with you first before I go to other things. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm waiting. I'm not going to wait long here on this before I move on. Because this has to do with what will bring relief and progress to the task. It doesn't matter at what level this thing is starting. Because it looked to me like it's just at the fledgling state and needed to make that significant progress. Father Lord, we we'll thank you for assignment. Being chaplain. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for doing it. I hear Grant being disbursed and accountability being demanded. But so that the planter and the harvester can rejoice together. Lord, I, I decree that there be a release in the name of Jesus. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for doing it. Now, if you're waiting for a grant, it's time to embrace that and accept what God is releasing. The storehouse is this have kind of signed off on it. Receive grace to take delivery. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord God, thank you. Hey, welcome, thank you. Hallelujah. I agree with you. You will your testimony will be complete. The circle will be complete. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's let's pray for some more. Uh Akinka, can you please just uh, um I mean a mutant? Let's just do this. Thank you. Hallelujah. Jena ke te livra Thank you, Lord God. The Lord says I have raised the olive branch. And I've extended it in your direction. Did you, did you call my name? Yes. yes. Uh, and I've extended it in your direction. Lord God, thank you for giving peace. Thank you for giving peace. And that which is commanded to be yours from the Lord is released now. It's released now. I'm still praying with Akinyinka. It's released now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for doing this, Lord God. Amen. The Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Thank you for a status thing. And thank you for a confirmation that you bring about. That it will be obvious you are the one that did it and took credit for it. 
Thank you for doing it, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yeah. Lord God, I want to thank you. Let your power rest upon this assembly of your people. Amen. Let everyone here, Lord God, receive a gift and a blessing that will linger and last and last the proper way in the name of Jesus. This is a general prayer, but I'm going back to the specifics again now. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Uh, my sister, Minister Olivia, can you please just, um, just unmute for me, if you can? Thank you. Father. Give me some. Yeah. If they have been a pain around the chest, around the sternum, not in the muscles, it looks like it's in the frame. Yeah. Lord God, thank you. You are still a physician. You are Jehovah mm -hmm. Rapha. Lord God, I want to thank you. Let every pain, especially around the chest to this, from the middle to the right side, Lord God, let such become neutralized in the name of Jesus. You sent your word and you bring healing. Lord, I agree with your word as it goes forth. Let it accomplish the purpose for which it's being released right now. In the name of Jesus. That your body will be free of pain. From top to bottom, be free of pain. And Lord God, I want to also thank you for the double that you have assured and Amen. the endorsement Amen. And validation. Yes, those two words. Amen. I hear Amen. the endorsement and validation. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So, so let there be an instantaneous relief concerning the pain around the chest cavity, the chest area. Amen. Amen. We give you praise. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, thank Lord, you, Father. Because the heart of the children are being torn to the parents and that of the parents to the children. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this this issue of the chest, uh, you've been thinking about it back and forth, just keeping it to yourself, not acting really. But now there will be no reason to even act anymore because God responded to you and the result will be evident. Amen. There are two persons here following each other here. Uh, the Fumilayo, the Oluwa Fumilayo here. And then there is a Olubu name on top. Let it toward the Fumilayo first. Olua Fumilayo, this one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. I wasn't even sure who that is. My eyes are closed most of the time. So, <laughs> hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you Lord God, I thank you for protection, especially at home. I, I decree in case any form of domestic accident, either a child falling or something that will create panic. Uh, the Lord just played that in front of me in, uh, in a glance now. But Lord will forbid it that the enemy will not take advantage. Even Amen. Children, Lord, they are protected. Let the Amen. angelic assistance be experienced. That Lord, Amen. none of them will have any form of domestic accident. They are shielded. Amen. They are shielded. Your word says only Amen. shall you Amen. the word of the wicked. These ones are protected. They are protected because they, they are protected because the face of the Lord. They are protected. I declare and declare Amen. The Lord in the Amen. name. Amen. Amen. So don't say why men slept. There was mm. a, a trick. No trick will be pulled. No stunt will be pulled. Jesus. In that Amen. Name. Jesus. We neutralize the Amen. intentions of the enemy. Thank you. Amen. So Thank you, Lord. Lord. As you place her role 
Lord, thank you because you play yours. Thank you for doing thank you, this Jesus. for us. In thank that you, Lord. Moment. Yes. Amen. Almost does not thank kill a bird. Thank you, Lord. It almost happened, but it never did. So that we know how to praise you more. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, thank, you, you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, Lord, let your thank you, mind Jesus. Of every member of the household. Every member of Amen. the household. Amen. Lord, I decree Amen. divine thank immunity Jesus. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank Amen. You. Hallelujah, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank name you, Lord. sounds like Auntie Betty. Yes, that's the way the name sounded. I'm still talking to you. Yeah, there's this person that sounds like Auntie Betty. That's the way the name sounded to me. Lord God, I decree, let there be a surprise, a pleasant surprise for her. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let there be a surprise, Amen. surprise for her. Amen. 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 There is the phone. Amen. Where is the, the Olubumi or so? Where is she? Thank you, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah. yeah. Good evening. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. This person looks familiar, but I can't even be sure. Yeah. Father God, I want to thank you. Um, are thank you, you Lord. Have you, are you a civil servant? Yes, I am. Oh. oh, Father God, I just thank you. Thank you, also, Lord. You want that shielded Mordecai wisely served with the government of the Medo Persian kingdom, even in the Babylonian Empire. Lord God, I want to thank you for you. Thank you, Lord. Protect this woman in the name thank of you. Lord. Let the Amen. be a mark and let your counsel Amen. hold. In the name of Amen. Jesus. Let the Amen. Mark and let your counsel Amen. be concerning her. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Don't worry. Amen. The one, the one that did the first two would do the third and complete it. Thank Amen. You. Thank ah, you, Lord. The Amen. one that did the first two will do the third and complete Amen. Thank you. Father. Amen. In the Thank you, Lord. Lord. Amen. Don't be afraid of their faces. They can't do not even a hair from your skin. You're good. Mm. Thank you, Father. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Walk with confidence. Thank you, Lord. He that keeps you never slumbers and he never sleeps. Thank you. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank Lord, you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Do more for us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Ourselves. Amen. Person really. Amen. Lord, I decree your peace. And I cancel every form of anger. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I Amen. Form of anxiety. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 I'm a black share. If you are there, you can just unmute for me. Hallelujah. Have I prayed hey, for you before tonight? No, sir. Okay. Thank you. I called you before, but I think either your line was uh, kind of frozen. It didn't come through. But let's pray right now. The Lord will have me say this. He said, keep going. He said, keep going. Don't be afraid of any form of mistake, for there will be none. Follow through. Don't be afraid of any mistake, for there will be none. Lord God, I want to thank you. Because, Lord God, even the recommendations will be accepted. Completely accepted. In the name of Jesus. Uh, and the Lord is showing me that there is this that you will be recommending. Even it looks like a structural adjustment in a corporate environment that you will suggest or advise that this be done. And the Lord says they will carry through with it. 
But even though some interests, vested interests may not like it, but those who make the final decision will choose that. And as they choose that, it will create what it looks to me like a corporate prosperity. That things will begin to fall in line properly. That the every mole in the system will be expunged. Thank you for doing this, Father. I don't know mm -hmm. why God is doing something corporate, even though this is an individual word. And he said that the result that will come will be obvious and it will be traceable to you. And that so that your, you will earn your place there. You earn, the Lord say, I'm giving you a seat at the table. I repeat, if you forget anything, don't forget this. The Lord says, and I'm giving you a seat at the table. Thank you for doing it. Thank you for doing it. Amen, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord God, I want to thank you also for the yeah. Lord God, I want to thank you. Where is this other person? Uh evangelist uh, dating. Oh, yeah, dating. Yeah. Please, ma. Hey, on mute. Hey, on mute. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Good evening, ma. So the Lord is saying it's not the number that matters, but the diligence and the commitment that you have before now. The Lord says, keep fighting at me because I'm putting, uh, I'm putting my reward together and it's going to be it's going to answer for you. I decree, let the spirit of reward answer for you at this time in the name of God. Lord God, you have a season of reward answer for you. The one that tried to uh, divide the house, we declare that their mouth be stopped. We declare Amen. that their mouth, their words will become worthless. Amen. Yeah. So that the counsel of the Lord can stand. Their Amen. words will no longer carry as much as we used to. In the name of Jesus, let everybody now see through the game and the schemes they have off their sleeve. Lord God, I thank you that from today, that Lord will begin to see the result that ought to come through. So that Lord God will thank you for reconciliation and for everybody seeing it the way you want them to see it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It's not the number of uh meetings but if all of them can see it together then they can they can make a speedy advancement lord i decree yeah. that this become the story yeah. both at home and even in the corporate organization uh, it looks like it's a non non-profit is a non-profit like a i can't call it a church really but it's a non-profit that Lord God, let the result that they've been crying out for okay. begin to show in the name. Thank you. Thank you. They have been pain around the elbow and the left shoulder. They have been removed now. Pain around the elbow and the, the left shoulder. They have been removed now. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Glory Thank to you, God. Yeah. Thank Hallelujah. you. Can you mute some people, please? There's so much disturbance. There's so much disturbance here. <laughs> this, I think I better mute this now. Yes, Brother Reg, I've seen you. There is this other person here, that uh, Samira. Yeah. If you can hear me, just... Um, Yes, sir. Yeah, if you can hear me. The Lord will have me say this. Please, if I'm not talking to you, stay muted. Mr. Adekbola, mute them, please. Please. Yeah, please. Uh, stay muted. Samira? I'm yes, sir. You're unmuted, okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. The Lord will have me say this. Be still 
and recognize that I am God. Be still and recognize that I am God. I am able to help. I am able to help. Um, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verses 6 to 9. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verses 6 to 9. I think I might even want to read, read that. But that is the word for you. Yeah. Chapter 2, verses 6 to 9. It says, yes, recognize him because he will guide you into all that is in front. No need to try to do it in your strength alone. Okay? So the Lord yes. makes alive. He brings down and to the grave and brings up. The Lord make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. He raises yes, the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from a dunghill to set them among princes. Amen. And make them to inherit the throne of glory. Okay, look at that. The, he said the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he has set them upon, set the world upon them. But look at verse nine. That's where we are going. Okay. He will keep the feet of his saints. If God keeps your feet, those who malign you will have no weapon to use. Those who speak ill will have no word to speak. Mm -hmm. Lord, I thank you because you defend this, your daughter. In mm -hmm. Show her that part of you that she needed to know and respond to. In the name of Jesus. Go mm -hmm. and read in your Bible that verse 10. The adversaries of the Lord shall be broken in pieces and out of heaven shall it turn down them. He knows how to defend you, so you don't have to put up a defense. Thank you, Father. We Amen. give praise, Father, for doing this for her. You see, when mm -hmm. you know that the stronger person is defending you, you will not have to move a muscle. Amen. Let him do it. Amen. 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 Okay. Yeah. Christine, ma. That's it. Sorry, Pastor. Bye is just here as well. Is there with you? Okay. Yes. Thank you. It's okay. Um, let me take this out. Okay. If you can hear me, let's pray. Lisa Mamla. Elivre Caminola C C Bayantis Satilia Maras. Oh. Father, thank you very much for uh Olabayo. Lord God, thank you for the help that you raise. Thank you. I I see the Lord showed me a picture of you. Uh, uh, you confirm if, if that's you, it, it looks like hiking on a mountainous terrain confidently. And while on your way, you saw some people hiking too, but they were kind of tired. And you were telling them, brace up, we're almost there. Brace up, we are almost there. But you like walk past them and stayed in front. And because they saw you moving at a good uh, pace, they also picked up their own pace to join with you. And uh, mm -hmm. Lord God, I'm asking that you begin to help this, my son here to pick up uh, the momentum, even professionally, Lord God, and encourage Amen. others around him to join in the same who are already Amen. getting tired or discouraged. Lord God, that Amen. he, by the things you inspire him to do, he will be able to inspire others, even to move on to the very mark that is set for them. Thank you for doing this, Lord God. In the Thank name you. of God. He said, don't lean Amen. on him still. Let him help you through. Don't lean on your own strength. The Bible says, lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways, recognize him, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Lord God, Amen. as he presses towards the mark, let his advancement encourage others to follow suit. 
so mm. that they will win together. That is the word, win together. Thank you. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. But physically, do you do hiking? And just uh, I don't, Pastor. Okay. So it but may... I used to be an athlete, though. <laughs> yeah, it may be. you used to be an athlete, but you were. It's a walk through a, a, a hiking path that is kind of a little treacherous and going up. And of course, because it's on a hilly terrain, a lot of people yeah. are beginning to slow down. But when you made, when you encourage them to come along and you took the lead there, they start picking yeah. up. Lord God, I, I think it has to do with career. Uh, that's what I yeah. Yeah, Lord I, God, yeah I, I, I agree, will, Pastor. Okay. Lord God, I'm asking that you begin to cause others to pick up courage, even to join in the race, even to breast the tape. Thank you for doing Amen. it. Thank you. For Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Amen. Where is Amen. this mama here? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, ma. It's you now. Abundance. Thank you, ma. Good evening, sir. Yeah. Happy New Year. <laughs> God bless you, Apostle. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Hallelujah. He said, this final push, you may not see the clouds, you may not mm. see the sky or the rain, but the trenches are about to be filled with water. Mm. I repeat, you may not see the cloud or the rain, mm. but the trenches are about to be filled with water. Mm -hmm. Courage is not the absence of reasons to be afraid logically. Mm. But if God is your help, he will deliver it in spite of all odds, against all odds. And mm. his mind is made up on this one. His mind is made up on this one. I see you like lift up what looks like a plaque. Yes, we made it through. Lord, mm. I decree, let that plaque indeed physically be lifted mm. by the hands of your daughter mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Let the plaque, okay, yes, we did it. We completed this. Thank you for making it, ha it happen. Thank mm. you for sending it her way. Thank you. Thank you for recognition. Thank you for recognition. In the name of Jesus. Second Samuel chapter 3, verse 1, Ma. That is your word. Second Samuel 3, 1. 3, 1. Stronger and stronger. That's your side of the lane. Weaker and weaker. That's their side of the lane. Thank mm. you for doing it. Thank Second you. Samuel chapter 3, verse 1. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Amen. Thank you, sir. Amen. Can you work for me, please, today? Please, I didn't hear that. Can you work for me, please? Where? Did somebody say something? Reggie, Reggie speaking. Reggie, okay, yeah. Okay, I'm trying to scroll up to... Okay, yes, I've seen you now. I've seen you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, let's pray. Father, thank you. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know the reason why I giggled and uh, seemed to smile? The Lord says... I'm binding up the wound and I'm bringing up encouragement. I see, I see a situation whereby a lot of old, what I would say, people from your past coming to visit and bringing comfort and encouragement. Comfort and encouragement. Romans 15, 5. Romans 15, 5. Lord God, I thank you for bringing succor, for bringing strength, and for bringing encouragement. In the name of Jesus, let every form of pain 
begin to experience supernatural relief. Every form of pain, especially in the upper torso. Lord God, thank you for making that happen right now. Thank you right now. Let insomnia go. Let insomnia go. Can you please put your right hand, if you can hear me, put your right hand like that. Lord God, I decree, let insomnia go. In the name of Jesus. Let there be comfort. Let there be strength. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, I thank you. Because you bring times of refreshing. That's what he's given. Times of refreshing. Thank you, Lord God. Somebody you have been thinking of lately is going to come visit. A call first and then a visit next. And you will do better. That they, than they heard. Thank you for doing this, Lord God. I pray a release of God's blessing upon you. Let the comfort of the Holy Spirit rest upon your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is this other person that I want to praise you. This person, this sister D, can you please just unmute for me? Your name is Sis D. I think it's Sister D. Uh, if you're there, can you please? If you can't hear me, then I'll go to Sister uh, Vera. Let's deal with this because we just have a few more minutes left. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Please, um, can you hear me, ma? I don't want to click so that it doesn't. Okay, let me click here and ask you to. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Glory to God. Can you hear me? Okay. It's the name of no, I'm not talking to you, Reg. I want okay. to talk to others. I called okay. Vera. She didn't respond. I called the other person. Didn't respond. But I'm sure she they can hear. Hello, me. we're locked out. I'm locked out. I've just been released. I've been trying this, Sister Doreen, Sister D. Okay. But, but, but I kept Wonder. trying to. And, and now the you microphone. Can hear me. Good. Good. Yeah, good. The Don't microphone was locked. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, so, this is Sister D, Sister Doreen. Yes, Sister Doreen. Okay. <laughs> this is a new phone, Sister D. <laughs> okay, good. No worries. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy you were here. <laughs> Welcome back. But the, the, mute, the mute was locked. Really? Yes, okay. there was some, some, some noise earlier, and I understand it was locked, but I okay. couldn't open it. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. I'm happy that we are able to at uh, least get back on. So, Father God, thank you very much for your daughter. Thank you, Lord God, for the things. Oh. Thank you. There's something, just be patient. There's something the Lord is making me to see. I'm just being given information here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Lord God, I want to thank you. He said it's going to get easier and better. I see you mm -hmm. like holding a banister, the railing on mm -hmm. the staircase and kind of slowly moving up in there. And the Lord is saying it's going to get better. It's going mm -hmm. to get better. Mm. Just keep your confession at it is getting better. Lord God, mm. I pray. Can you do me a favor? Put your put your left hand on your left hip and let me say a blessing. Lord God, yes. whatever form of discomfort around the left hip, 
keep pelvic axis there. Lord God, I thank you for the help that is getting better. Help is being released. Help is being released. And if there is this on the uh, the same, the, just same part at the the, uh, the the great toe also. Mm. The great toe to the left, the great toe. It looks mm -hmm. like it's been it's been a bit tender from maybe you wore a shoe or something for a long time and it's hurting. Lord God, thank you for bringing comfort right mm -hmm. there. You know how mm -hmm. to do these things. Lord, thank you for times of refreshing. Thank you for mm -hmm. you, Lord, let your balm touch on it. Let healing take place. Let comfort mm -hmm. take place. Even climbing the stairs, I don't know where you live, never been there before, but he showed me you holding, which you just taking the staircase and slowly going up and he's saying he's getting better. So receive relief. Mm -hmm. In Amen. the name of Jesus, receive relief. There will be no pain or discomfort in going upstairs or coming back downstairs or all of that. Thank you for bringing relief. And he said, <laughs> a piece of good news has just been broken. It's either it just <laughs> got into you or it's just about to break. And he said, there is more where that came from. Mm -hmm. to spice up the year for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Father. Cousins are gathering together and discussing. You may have a group visit. Thank you. <laughs> a group visit. That's what I hear. When it happens, mm. let me know. A group visit. Looks like about three of them gathering and saying, okay, we go surprise her. They will call last minute, almost like when they're on their way already. Wow. Just receive, yeah. Just receive. Father, thank you for doing this. We are grateful, Lord. We are grateful. Lord God, we are grateful. We are grateful, Lord God. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We've, we've prayed for quite a, a substantial number of people today, but we'll do a little more. Lenny, so Lenny, it's Lenny's first time from yes, Uganda. I, I, I saw the name. I, I don't want anybody coming for the first time. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I've seen it. Yeah, let the pray. Lenny, can you please just unmute yourself, please, sir? Okay. It's a lady. A lady. Okay. If you can hear me, let, let her just unmute. That's it. Hello. Hello. Okay, good. Beatrice, don't worry. You don't have to raise your hand. I'm going to call you. If it's just the words of men, then it's different. If it's God's word, I have to listen for him to say something to you for me to be able to say Okay, sir. I don't have to speak from my head. I don't do that. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Yeah. So, so Lenny, please, uh, I, I'm up to you right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Father. The Lord says, I'm breathing upon you a new lease of life. I'm breathing upon you a new lease of life. Thank you, Father. I'm breathing upon you a new lease of life. I'm mentally, the Lord says, I'm empowering you in your mind again, like it used to be. The Lord is giving you a keen mind pretty analytical, very analytical mind that you want to know every detail of it and really vet things through. But that aspect of you is beginning to kind of give, but the Lord says, I'm restoring all of that. I'm restoring all of that. And it said, I, I'm bringing you into a community where you can feel that you belong again. 
the Lord again. And Lord God, I want to thank you. Let every form of uh, mental cloud begin to dissipate and clarity being restored in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. There is this person that looks like a lone son. Just coming back and saying, oh, let's start it over again. It looks like a lone son. It may not even be biological, but it's like the only person and needed to come back and reconnect and find hope again. Lord God, thank you for the breathing of hope. I see, I see God mending families through you. Now, were you a counselor before? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me, Ma? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. I say, were you functioning as a counselor before? Yes, I used to. Sir. You used to. And the Lord says, I should tell you this, because the, I'm just, from what I'm being shown, he said the same comfort you offered others are now being packaged to be offered you. So be of good courage. Lord God, thank you. Thank you for sending comfort. Thank you for mental clarity again. Thank you. Lord God, for that person that looks like a lone son that seems to come back, thank you for clicking the reset button, for causing this individual. It's like you literally raised this individual, but seem to have gone silent on you and is coming back. I decree that everything that kept him away be cut off so that he can be fully back in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let your daughter know the comfort which we have given others. Let her know it in this time in the name of Jesus. If there has been an issue that has impacted hearing, I decree right now, let it be turned around. Let there be a supernatural repair happen in the name of Jesus. Your health is being breathed upon by the Lord right now. Your health is being breathed upon by the Lord right now. Receive healing. Receive healing. Receive healing in the name of Jesus. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Ma, I need to describe something. You can confirm it to me the way it is, okay? The Lord showed me a seat that is in the place like a living room facing the door. And there's another extra drip of cloth that looks like cream color or so on it. That's not the original one, but it's kind of cover it upon which you sit looking out the door from that seat. And it called the place your throne. Seems like you're always there. Lord God, thank you for bringing comfort to your daughter. He described the place and he called the place your throne. Lord, thank you for bringing comfort there. In the name of Jesus. Yes, you love the Lord and he's bringing times of refreshing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, there is. Okay, Michaela. Good evening, sir. Thank you. 
good good evening. I heard you. Yeah, good, good evening. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Allah, Lord, Allah, don't yield to it. Don't yield to it, says the Lord. I have an alternative. Don't yield to that. I have an alternative. Don't yield to that. Father, thank you because you help your daughter. Lord God, thank you. You have that which you've set aside. Lord God, cause her eyes to notice it. In the name of Jesus. Yes, there is a space made for you. He said, don't yield to this other one because I have a place for you. I have a space for you set aside with your name on it. Receive grace to access it. In Amen. The name of Jesus. Receive grace to access it. Somebody will call you and say, look, you discussed about this with me before. I just, I just noticed there is this offer being made. If you don't mind, you can come for it. Maybe we'll say, okay, we can split it. It looks like it's an office space. Lord God, we want to thank you for you walk the details out. Thank you for you walk the details out. And he said, staying awake does not help the matter Leaning on me does. I don't know what that means to you. He says, staying awake doesn't help the matter. Leaning on me helps. That's what he said I should tell you. So, Father, Lord, I release your peace. I release your shalom over this, my sister, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the peace of God guard your heart and mind. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If there's a pain, a sharp pain to the ear that seems to come once in a while and it will leave and just come with, to the left ear, really. It was like a prick. And then after a while, it releases and all of that. But we'll block it off once for all. Nahum chapter 1, verse 9. Nahum chapter 1, verse 9. Lord God, whatever creates that feeling, let it wither off completely. I speak, and I speak comfort in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Yeah. Hallelujah. I think I have. Uh, I think I've covered most of them. There is this pastor here. Where is he? There is this pastor. Okay. There is this person that is here. Baba, where are you? There is this pastor. What's her name now? Tonya, yeah, let the two, okay, the two of them are even together. I'm here, sir. Okay, good. Good evening, sir. Yeah, no, let me speak to the man first before I speak Thank to you. Sir. Thank you, sir. I'm here, sir. Yeah, hallelujah, sir. Hallelujah. Sir. How long have you been on the one you are doing now as work? Hallelujah. Baba, can you, are you listening to me? Yeah, um, uh, is it as the business or profession, sir? No, profession. Uh, been there like 20 years now. Okay. The reason why I ask that is because there's going to be a shakeup that is coming. But keep your eyes open because it's after the shakeup that it will throw up options for you. And I, I, I see God bring you an opportunity for you to be repurposed and reassigned in the place that will give you more room to pay attention to your own, what I can call your own business. Okay? The present yeah. one eats up most of your time, leaving very little left. But the shake up... Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Please. The present one takes up more than necessary time, but the shake-up will allow you space to prepare your own business, to attend or to tend your own business. 
Okay? Yes, sir. Lord, I decree that this business will pick up speed so that it will be, it will be able to help my brother to transition. Let Amen. the process of transition begin so that he Amen. can get all that he needs to get it up Amen. so that it can be self-sustaining in the name Amen. of Jesus. And Lord God, Amen. I can see that this very new shakeup that is coming, let it give opportunity even to your son in the name of Jesus. Thank Amen. you. Amen. Those who will speak Amen. for him, make them willing. Prepare them Amen. for to chip in a word for him in the name Amen. of Jesus. Thank you for that. Amen. In Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, sir. Welcome. Sir, is it is it a only son with two girls? Is that what you got? Are you talking to me, sir? Yes, sir. I have two girls and um, two boys. Okay. How old is the younger one? Uh, they are 12. They're actually triplets because maybe that's why you're saying singular. Uh -huh. They are triplet. Okay. The girls are clear, but the boy is just one that's showing sure up. I didn't know they came as triplet. Hallelujah. Yes, and Lord God, yes. I thank you. Your word says yes, underneath you, or underneath this set, are your everlasting arms. Let your hands sustain them in the Amen. name of Jesus. And Lord God, Amen. the younger one left handed. Yes. Younger boy. Okay. Younger boy. Yes. Okay. Because he's becoming more vivid to me here. Lord, I pray wisdom upon him. Lord God, Amen. technical wisdom beyond his age, Father. And Lord God, Amen. he is very competitive. And Lord God, I'm asking that you will endure him. Let the best Amen. heaven that you have invested, Lord, let's begin to find expression concerning him Amen. in the name Amen. of Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Jesus, oh God. That Lord God, they Amen. will stand brightly. Lord God, as Amen. a reward, as a reward in the name of Amen. Jesus. Thank you for doing Amen. that. In Thank Jesus' you, name. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Thank uh, you, Lord. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Where is uh, the person, the next person? Uh, Pastor Antonia, so. Good where? evening, sir. I need to. Good evening, sir. Okay, good evening. Yeah. The time is now. I will have, I will soon stop, but we still have to do. Let me call this person. Hey, Sister Beatrice, you know what you're going to do for me? Don't lift your hand up. You reduce the image on my screen. When you do that, every other person is. Uh, uh, even Richard is not supposed after you raise your hand and I've seen it just remove it I, I, I've seen it if I don't have I'm not speaking from my head I'm speaking from what floats up from out of my spirit so it's not how visible you are it's what he shows me that I can offer apart from that I'm no use to you okay thank you Jesus so and uh, where is this other person here uh, Pastor Tonya, yeah. Thank you. I'm here, sir. Okay. Yes. Thank you. I said, I will pave your path with peace. I will pave your path with peace. Trust Amen. me with the result. I will pave your path with peace. Amen. Trust me with the result. Lord God, I want to thank you. He said that which looks like a struggle now will give way to times of refreshing. Amen. He said the way it appears now, the opposite is the reality. Mm. It's going to be easier than you thought. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Thank Jesus. You, Thank Stay you, Jesus. encouraged because change is cruising down towards you. Amen. Change is cruising down towards you. Amen. Write your list. Rejig your list. Because it's about to be attended to. 
Amen. The list I mean is chopping list, the one you place before the Lord. Reject it. Put the most important in front, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hallelujah. Where is this other person? If you have never been prayed for, there is this Richard here. Richard, lower your hand and unmute yourself. Can you hear me? Richard. Good evening, sir. Okay. Good evening. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. He said, be patient. And let me walk you through it. Be patient. And let me walk you through it. And Lord God, I'm asking that you will do this for my brother. He said, you have need of patience. And that which is coming will come through. Know that God has not forgotten. Be patient. And the result, bigger than you plotted and planned, will come through. Okay? And I will encourage right. you to start to give thanks to God. Because when it comes, patience will play a major role. Those who are in a hurry will like... Uh, Say what they ought not to say, and they will be set aside. If you are patient, the Bible says, through faith and patience, you can inherit the promise. I decree that grace be given you to inherit the promise. In Jesus. Amen. 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 Uh, there is something that God is showing me. Just be patient. Let me see what. Okay. It's not time to sh uh, to shift position. Stay for that which is coming towards you. Stay for that which is coming towards you. It's going to get clearer as it gets closer. Okay? Yeah, right, There's a temptation to almost like jump ship. Quit the one you are now into a different. But the Lord says, wait. Something will come through of its own, and there will be result. In Jesus' name, I have to stop. Amen. Yeah, I have to stop the recording now because it's already two hours. <laughs>